morning, everybody. Oh, it is 7.20 a.m. Uh, I'm very low on gas. We need to go to the gas station. But decided to do some pond fishing this morning. So I was supposed to have one of my buddies to actually join us. Not sure if he's gonna make it. We just finished getting gas. Now we're gonna go ahead and head to the spot. See if we can pick up a couple bass today. Not really going for anything else. Plus it's, it's just a little pond, it's not really that big some large mouth I don't believe there's any small mouth in that pond at all but I guess we'll find out made it now, there's one thing about this pond that drives a lot of people away and that is snakes there's a lot of snakes at this pond so I won't be surprised if we stumble across one while we're coming out here now there's supposed to be a little island in the middle and just to give you an idea we're gonna have to walk through all of that but there's supposed to be a little island in the middle that shows up um, whenever it hasn't rained in a while. And it hasn't rained in about, I think in about a week. So we're gonna hope that that island is here. But uh, let's go ahead and head down there. You know, I like to fish and everything, but I hate spiders. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm more worried about a snake right now than I am spiders anyways. Most of the time, unless that snake is asleep, when it hears you coming, it makes sure to get out the way. So, unless you're bothering it, running up on it, trying to mess with the snake, you usually should be fine. And as y'all can see, right there, that's that island I was talking about, and it actually is exactly the way I want it. That's good. And I don't have my boots on today. So I'm not gonna be able to get in the water a little bit to get to the fish. So it looks like we may be stuck with just this little area. The water is pretty clear. Starting off with the first bait of the day. Ah, good old trusty Gary Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Huh, Y'all excuse me, it's too early in the morning. That's one thing about when you're Senko fishing. You have to watch your line because most of the time, those fish will grab that thing on the fall. And I don't want to work this thing too much. Cause I had, a, I saw a little, oh, there we go. Oh, got he got off. Let's try this again. I need to set my drag down a little bit. 
And I probably ripped it right out of his mouth. There we go. That's good. Alright, let's see if we can get that thing right back out there. Now, unfortunately, in a lot of these, a lot of these ponds down here, um, from where I am, the fish aren't very active right now. So it is kind of difficult to get that bite that you're looking for. Um, a lot of them won't, you know, just straight on engulf that bait. They're, they're more so kind of tapping at it if it goes across their bed, especially if they think that it's going to eat those eggs. So uh, you have to be not necessarily aggressive, but you really have to be patient and make sure you're paying attention to your bites. Um, down here in these ponds in South Carolina. I looked down and realized that my, my doggone camera wasn't recording for this guy. So, y'all missed that catch, but I'm gonna make sure that it's on this time. I'm running low on my battery, so this trip is about to end. So let's see if we can grab something else. It's just a little dink. Better than nothing, though. Stay down, baby. Oh, God damn, bro. Ooh, one following him. See him. I'm taking it. See him right there. Come on, baby. You did the video. Say about a one and a half, two pound. Big boy. Go ahead, big boy back. Ooh. Well, everyone, as you can see, I have made it back to my house. Uh, today was pretty, pretty productive. We caught uh, three fish, we caught two dinks, and we also ended up catching a two pounder, which was pretty fun. Unfortunately, the footage on my, my GoPro, my, my battery went out in the middle of me catching that two pounder. So as you can see right here, at least you can see me hooked up with it. But um, yeah, man, you know, it, things happen. We, we learn from them. I now know that I need to get me a battery pack to to go to that thing unfortunately i have the hero session i don't have the bigger one i don't know i might upgrade to the bigger one that makes more sense than to buy a new battery whatever but guys it was fun uh make sure you take somebody fishing make sure you you teach them how to put a hook on that line and, and catch some fish man because it's a lot better than uh a lot of things that these kids are doing nowadays that these younger people are doing at least get somebody out of the house so until next time, man. Stay focused.